Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the plugin Message Announcer on your Minecraft server. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is install the plugin. So, to do this, you need to go to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Then, once you're here, ensure the server is running Spigot. This plugin may also work on Craft Bucket, and but if you have any problems, just switch over to Spigot. All of the Craft Bucket plugins work on Spigot, so it shouldn't be an issue. So, once you're here, go to the plugins tab then go to the spigot plugins tab and then search for message announcer with no spaces if you add a space it won't come up then click search and then you can see it appears there so then click install latest and just make sure that it has a similar symbol to this and if you're not sure if it's the same plugin click more info and then you can be taken to the page where it shows the plugin so now that you've got it installed restart the server and that should load the plugin and generate any configuration files so once you've done that and once you've given your server a few moments to start up go to the file manager then go to the plugins folder and then if you're in the file manager and you don't see a folder for message announcer yet just click refresh and it should appear it's because your server has not finished starting up so it is important to make sure that you give it a few moments to start up once it's appeared, click the folder to enter it, and then in here you'll see a config.yml file. So if we go inside of this, basically this is all the settings for the plugin. There aren't many. So the first set of settings is announcer enable. This basically enables or disables it. If you don't want it to be enabled, just type false. Um, I'm going to leave it as true, as obviously we want to show how it works. Announcer random means that the messages are displayed randomly. If you don't want them to be displayed randomly, set them to false, and then it should go in a specific order. I'm going to leave them as true. And an announcer interval is how often it announces an announcement, basically. So 60 means 60 seconds, so this is in seconds. So if you wanted it to be every 2 minutes, you would put 120. If you wanted it to be every 30 seconds, you'd put 30. It's completely up to you. Then once you've done that, you can also change some settings with the sounds as well. Um, I'm not going to be looking in this, I'm just going to leave it as default. And then here, we can change the announcements that are actually displayed. So we'll edit this once we've added all the announcements. So by default, you can see there are a couple announcements here. So to edit the announcement messages or add your own, you need to use it in a JSON format. So most server owners are used to writing messages in a YML format, but this plugin is different, unfortunately. So it does make it a bit more complicated and it, and it does have its restrictions. So here you can see that the format is a bit different to what you're probably used to. And it has these little brackets here with text and then it has the text message, which is displayed. So to add your own, you would simply copy one of these um, and then paste it below and then that would create a new one. You need to give it a new name. So if I wanted to call one here called donation, um, I could add that there for a donation message, for example. And then you can add it, edit your text as well. So you just select everything inside of the quotes, delete it, and then go ahead and start writing your new message. So I'm just going to put maybe, um, thanks for playing. Please consider donating. Just something like that. It's completely up to you. Um, and you can add as many lines as you wanted to. So if you wanted to add another line, again, just copy it and paste it below. And then we've got four lines instead of three. Um, or you can remove the lines if you want to and just have um, a small amount. So I'm just going to have one for this message. Um, and then let's go ahead and edit the other messages. So I don't want this vote message, so I'm going to remove it. And I'm, I want this default one, but I'm going to change it. So let's put, um, thanks for playing. Let us know how we can improve so let's say i now wanted to add some color to this text how do i do that because you can't just use and seven or and eight or and c um, like the normal minecraft color codes you've got to use the json formatting so i'll include a link to this page in the description below and what this does it converts our messages into working json formats so you need to go here and copy the text that you want to change so right click click copy and then we're going to go to this website and then click add text then add your text here um, and then make it bold, italic, underlined, um, change the color if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to leave it as a standard format and then just change it to um, an aqua color like that. So once you've done that, click add text and then it will generate this command here. So you can see here, we've got a similar format to what's in that message announcement file, as you can see here. So we're going to be copying all of this and then we're going to replace the entire line. So just highlight that and paste over the top of it. And as you can see, we've replaced it. Again, it's important to make sure that you have the quotes at the start and at the end of the message. Now, unfortunately, because of how this is laid out, we can't have multiple colors on the same line. Um, but you can have different colors for different lines. So for example, on this bottom line here, I could have a different color like red. And um, I'm gonna leave it as the standard. So once you've made all the changes to this file and added all the announcements, we need to add them to the announcement list. So as you can see, by default, it shows default and vote. But I added 
donation. So I'm going to need to add donation here for it to display in game as well. If you had another maybe called a vote, you could just add that again at the bottom. Um, and you can have as many as you want. You, there's no limit to how many you can have. So once you made all the changes and added them to the announcement list, click save and then restart your server. Then once it's restarted, go ahead and join and you can take a look at the announcements. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and straight away it's displaying the messages that we added. Now I believe this plugin does have a few commands as well. So if we type MSA help, and you can see all the messages or commands that we can type in game. So we can start it, we can stop it, we can list all the active announcements. We could send a player directly to an announcement ID um, and you can do a, a selection of other things. So that's basically how you set up Message Announcer. It's a fantastic plugin. Unfortunately, it doesn't have all the features for color codes and such. Um, however, it is updated, so it should work of all Minecraft versions, unlike some other broadcasting plugins. So if you have any questions or you run into any problems, make sure you contact our support. You can contact them on our website and I'll be more than happy to look into any issues with this plugin for you. Also, I believe Message Announcer also have a Discord channel, so I would go ahead and join that again if you run into any issues or you'd like to suggest anything to the developer himself. Other than that, I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you have a great day. Goodbye.